Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss about how to use and implement the Body of Influence or BOI and the Face of Influence or FOI local sizing in ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Workflow. Through an example, we will learn how these two local sizing affect the volume mesh and compare them to other kinds of local sizing. So, let's get started. Let's start a new session of Fluent Meshing. In this example, we are using four processors. Start a new watertight workflow and select the first task. In the Import Geometry task, locate and select the geometry file for this exercise. Keep the other settings as default and press Import Geometry to load the model. Activate the clipping planes and reposition the plane in order to show the internal geometries. Here we have two fluid regions containing four objects. The sphere and the short tube are solid bodies, while the cylinder and the open surface are the BOI and the FOI respectively. In the All Local Sizing task, Select Yes to add local sizing. In the panel, under Size Control Type, select Body Size. Set to millimeters for the target mesh size and select Solid 1 among the labels. It is always a good practice for all sizings to use the clip plane and inspect the actual grid sizes with Draw Size Boxes enabled before moving to the next step. Click on Add Local Sizing to apply it. Next, select the body of influence as control type and enter 1 mm for the target mesh size. Select the BOI label to apply the control to the BOI we created and again press Add Local Sizing. As soon as you press the button, the BOI disappears from the display geometry. This is because Fluent Meshing recognized that the body is not a part of the geometry, but just an entity that drives the local mesh refinement. The next step is to set a face sizing on the pipe shape body on the right and a FOI sizing for the cylindrical surface. Set the new control type to face size and set 2 mm for the mesh size. Then select the solid 2 surface label and apply the local sizing. Last, set the face of influence sizing with a mesh size of 1 mm and apply it to the FOI using the proper label. Again, as seen for the BOI, the face of influence disappears as fluent meshing recognizes it as not part of the geometry. Now, all the local sizings are set and we can move on completing the workflow and obtaining the volume mesh. Note that all the sizing specify the maximum mesh size for the selected object. It is possible for the mesh to be smaller than the target size, depending on the various sizing settings used. Go to the Generate Surface Mesh task, set the minimum mesh size to 1, and leave all the other settings to default. Then, click Generate Surface Mesh. In the Describe Geometry task, change the geometry type to the geometry consists of both fluid and solid regions and or voids, and select Yes to change all fluid-fluid boundary types from wall to internal. Then update the task. You can keep the default settings and values for the rest of the tasks and just click Update in each one of them. In the Generate the Volume Mesh task, select Polyx Core for the Fill Width option and click 
we generate the volume mesh button. Here is the generated volume mesh. As you can see, the exact position on the BOI and FOI objects cannot be determined precisely. While the two solid bodies where we applied body and face sizings are very distinct. This is because the latter ones define specific regions of the domain, whereas the BOI and FOI influence only the mesh sizing in the regions they were defined in. You can notice that both BOI and body sizing prescribe a mesh sizing at the volume level inside the specified volumetric region. However, the BOI does not have to be a unique cell zone of the domain. Also, you can see that the fine mesh size of the BOI locally overwrote the body sizing. FOI and face sizing influence the volume mesh indirectly in the areas nearby the surface location. However, the FOI does not have to be a real boundary of the geometry. BOI and FOI give flexibility to control the volume mesh refinement for localized regions, such as wakes or shear layers, but they cannot be used to specify zones or boundaries for the simulation. Even boundary layer meshes cannot be applied to them, so be mindful when using them. Let's now recap what we discussed in this video. The BOI and FOI local sizing controls are used to refine the mesh in specific regions of interest in the model. These two sizing control types affect the volume cell sizing in their respective areas of influence. The use of BOI and FOI is very flexible since they are not part of the main geometry and will not play a role in the physics simulation. However, they cannot be used to specify zones or boundaries for the model. With that, we come to the end of our video.